time you read it? One of the final things I'd like to comment about, about this authority issue, because I consider it the future burning issue of the church. I said it wasn't attended to in Vatican II, and we can blame it on the, the power brokers not wanting to give up their power, uh, getting back to the gospel instead of playing the power corporate game of the episcopacy <clears throat> all over the world, even Africa, where they're sort of brainwashed by their Roman training, where you expect the opposite. Uh, we've had a few tricks played on us. First, not addressing the issue of where does the authority come from, from Jesus, to all the way to the present day church. And I was mentioning the third important facet of the resurrection stories, the last chapters of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and so-called John, were an attempt uh, after the naming of Peter as the absolute <coughs> final authority in the church. Uh, then after that, people followed the culture of the day and and after reading the gospels and putting them in practice they transcended the culture and we got <clears throat> the absolute rule or the final rule of authority in the church is the consensus of the faithful so but as people became more and more educated as Catholics began to read the bible and study it earnestly and honestly they could see that that wasn't Jesus' intention at all. Plus, Americans, of course, don't have any uh, truck with uh, monarchical European models. And uh, as they became more biblically oriented, they could see this is not what Jesus intended at all. In fact, it's the opposite. And then you add the corporate secular uh, syndrome uh, you get the kind of church we have today.